Hello everyone, good morning. This is Amber speaking. Today I will guide you to explore the Internet Navigation Solution and welcome to Supermap online webinar for mobile solution. Now, uh, as we know, finding one's way inside the building can be more challenged than outdoor way funding. So why do people often get lost in buildings? There is a saying that people can find their way to the moon but get lost in the moon. So the complex spatial structure and the familiarity of the environments are regarded as the main reasons making indoor refunding difficult. So today, our solution, today's presentation includes four parts. Uh, first one, I will explain the indoor navigation solution, then I will emphasize uh, indoor navigation features and uh, incremental navigation. Uh, at last, I will show you some cases about uh, some indoor navigation application developed by Superman products. The first one is about is an explanation of indoor navigation solution. Well, outdoor we found it could rely on the GPS or Google Maps, but you know, GPS does not work always work well inside the buildings. And uh, as we know, indoor in navigation has several potential challenges, like the uh, indoor positioning uh, as uh, loc location accuracy and the navigation. Uh, instructions. Also, the first one is about the indoor map. So, uh, indoor map, like unlike unlike the outdoor map, only have one uh, one layer. Uh, because buildings always have several flight floors, uh, so indoor map has cover to several floors, uh, and it has a connection with different floors. Uh, also, for indoor positioning. GPS has low accuracy inside the buildings. So we have to rely on other positioning technology. Now with the development of technology, we have we already have several exclusive indoor positioning technology. And for indoor navigation engine, and the unlike the outdoor way founding of the navigation, uh, we have indoor navigation have more complex turns and the stairs. So we have to provide detailed or different uh, navigation instructions to the users. So for indoor map, we could use iDesktop and iMobile uh, to draw the indoor maps, uh, or we could get the indoor maps from existing indoor maps from our partners, or for uh, indoor position technology. Now we have. So, such as Bluetooth and iBeacon or Wi-Fi. Uh, so this one we could get this technology could also uh, from our partners or rely on existing positioning technology. And for indoor navigation engine, and we could iMobile provide a complete set of navigation engine. So you just don't need to use our iMobile SDK for the navigation engine uh, as a navigation engine. And, uh, develop the navigation uh, functions. Um, now we have the iTablet, a uh, full-featured uh, appli mobile application can provide indoor navigation uh, helps. Uh, but also, as we, use, we also provide the user customized development with iMobile SDK. Also, can it, the development also can be based on iTablet. So that's our final indoor navigation app. It, it can be developed based on your own purpose. So what's the data source of the indoor maps? Uh, the data source could be from the CD floor plan and paper map and vector data of the buildings. Uh, almost, actually, most of the buildings uh, could provide the CD floor plans from the construction company, then that will save uh, us a lot of time to draw the uh, indoor maps. 
we could just extract the spatial in, uh, structure from the CD floor plans. And also, if we don't have the CD floor plans, uh, we just have a paper map, uh, indoor map of the uh, building, then we need to digitize uh, floor plans, digitize, digitize vector data from the paper map. And now also some, some buildings already digitized the uh, whole structure, whole indoor uh, environment, then we could just use uh, vector data for buildings directly. So after we got the uh, data source of the indoor maps, then we have to make the indoor map uh, with cartography tool. Then you can use SuperMap i desktop to uh, make the indoor map, cinematic map, or you can model the road network and the cross flow editing plan. And you also can use iMobile to add a road network, add the POI, POI data, or the, attach the attributes of the indoor features. So this is a workflow how we make indoor, map, uh, indoor maps. Uh, if we have the CD and image, we, we need to digitize the CD data and the image data uh, from uh, then that gets the vector data. If we have the FF data, we need to attach the attributes to for the vector data. Then uh, after we get this vector data, we need to set the styles for uh, every type of room, different different type of room should have a, a specified styles specific icon and also for POI style that uh, we could find this POI easily and also for the stair style. Uh, then after set after the style setting, uh, we need to create a navigation route based on road network. Also we need to set the coordinate system. For the 3D map, we also need to set the camera parameters that can help us to uh, look uh, the 3D view. Now uh, also need to uh, generate a 3D cache to improve the rendering performance. Uh, now we can set the whole extent of the buildings that we can get our map, can compute, um, get our map or 3D thing. Also, we cannot ignore the legend for, for this indoor map. We have to clear very clear legend for vector data, 2D data, or 3D data. And, 3D data. and so how to recreate uh, US 3D modeling is a, is a time consuming part for 3D maps, um, but the, uh, we provide the cadastral uh, vectorization module for uh, floor plans. Uh, so if you know, we have the, if you don't have the vector data, then first you need to digitize the rooms, uh, the floor plan map. So uh, based on the, the floor plans, now we've got our, uh, we, we also provide a set of tools for different type uh, of room, uh, room or wall or uh, other layers and the uh, common space and uh, provide easy uh, editing to a uh, uh, digitization tool for different room type. And after you get the uh, uh, vector data, we need to overlay all the, all the floors and we need to attach the elevation information and the extruded height for every floor. And then after we get, get uh, attached the attributes, then we just stretch the 2D vector data. Then we get the 3D buildings. For th these 3D buildings, and you can see is that we can achieve the 2D and 3D link to display at the top. And also we, can, we could get its floor information and even unit information or every room's information. So you could filter the floors and uh, units or room information. To check, so it's very easy to combine to the end screen view or switching. Uh, so after we got the indoor maps, 
um, the next challenge is about in the positioning. Uh, as GPS have a very low accuracy in inside the buildings, so we have to rely on other technology. Bluetooth and iBeacon is a very popular in the positioning technology for, um, but for this technology, we have to install the beacon uh, equipment uh, around the all around the buildings in every corner of the buildings because the beacon equipment is applied for limited area. So uh, the hardware will cost a lot of money, and um, but the accuracy is very high, and the fourth we have a very a cheaper solution in positioning technology. We can use Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi cavern, cavern area could be up to 90 uh, meters. Uh, but it's very easy to be interfered by other signals. So the, uh, sometimes the accuracy is uh, uh, lower than other technology. Then the, the, the last one is uh, called vision positioning. Now it's uh, very new and uh, popular technology and cheap, cheap technology for indoor positioning because it's hardware free and the accuracy could be meter level and you don't need to uh, set up any other equipment just to use your phone and I am new equipment after your phone equipped. Well, I will introduce the vision positioning technology later. And our also AR mapping also take utilize this technology. So when we solve the indoor maps and the uh, positioning problem, so how can we make our indoor navigation app? First of all, we have, uh, we have to collect the uh, tracking data, uh, collect the indoor data by how to say track collection or CD join, then we have to comply this uh, data. Uh, collect the road net data with iMobile as have to generate a road network then we may need to make the indoor map and outdoor map with iMobile or a desktop. After that we could uh, move this, put this uh, indoor map or and road network data to uh, our navigation app for indoor, for outdoor, and it could be 2D and 3D, and also this data could be used as AR navigation. So what's the uh, main features of our SuperMap indoor navigation solution? First, it's we can integrate into in, indoor and outdoor navigation seamlessly, and you don't need to switch them. It can switch to switch from outside to inside, switch inside to outside automatically. And the second one is the integration of the 2D and 3D navigation. Uh, because uh, as you can see, we could connect, uh, achieve the 2D and 3D linked display, but also can display. Mm. Uh, so you can easily switching the 2D and the 3D view. And the last one is the incremental data navigation. As we know nowadays, buildings or uh, roads are updates every day. So the data is very easy to be out of time. Uh, so we have to use the incremental data navigation to uh, meet your requirements of the um, data updating. So uh, this is, these are the functions of our indoor navigation application. So we could provide 2D and 3D indoor map display and also could support the cross flow and the multi, multi passes planning and the multi Stops planning, and uh, you could add many stops during your uh, route planning. 
and also support to the NSYD illustration and also then it's can you we provide the uh, in your real navigation but also can you can monitor the uh, navigation with a fake location and then so not only introduction instruction or science for we also can provide audio instruction and then last one is the multi modes of route planning are supported we supported shortest distance shortest time and the simplest passes okay so that's all for the indoor uh, indoor navigation solution now i will talk about incremental data update uh, why we need to increment incremental data updates because now uh, uh, we, the actually is, uh, if we cost a lot of time on indoor uh, uh, indoor data digitization or data collecting the data is very expensive and uh, then we don't have the so many official data for every buildings and then the data updates frequency is very slow so to solve this problem we that's the uh, reason why we need to increment the updates uh, supermap provides the out, out, autonomous navigation data production lines and the multi-mode route planning and complete traffic rules so uh, we could achieve the increment data update and make the investigation application can be for data collecting and they use the uh, desktop and iMobile to process uh, data we we'll utilize the traffic rules and use iMobile to develop the navigation application so why uh, how about the indoor mapping uh, because uh, we know uh, data collecting is a very time consuming uh, and uh, money consuming um, job. How can we really, we will use this indoor map wrapper to collect the uh, indoor data. So is there any way with lower cost and the higher portability? portability? Um, yeah, we just use uh, one telephone with one map that we can finish this. Uh, use our mobile phone the IMU, fusion of IMU and the vision technology. So I, our uh, smart, now we almost uh, everybody will use a smartphone and our smartphone are equipped with IMU that well can uh, provide the position technology. Uh, but we know the accuracy is not uh, so high so we could combine the vision technology with IMU technology that could improve our positioning technology uh, positioning accuracy let's say is we will use the IMU and use the phone to draw the to draw this uh, polygon inside the buildings it can you can see it fits with the vector data very well so the accuracy is very high uh, then we can just use one phone to collect such data so it's uh, based on the fusion of IMU and vision this technology could be applied for AR and AI survey and mapping let's see here we can see and do the AR measurement and uh, AR mapping. Here we got a very good rec uh, a rectangle with high accuracy. 
So what app uh, could uh, for the end of survey and the mapping you could use? It's called Superman I Tablet, and uh, you could download the Superman I Tablet in your application store to collect the indoor map data. So when we got the indoor map data, how can we create the uh, navigation data, incremental navigation data? How can I produce that? So first we will uh, produce the, uh, this is the uh, track data that uh, iMobile collected or from iTablet. Then the next step is the data processing. We need to convert the track data to road, to road network. Then make it as a line. Uh, and we got the road data. We need to do the top manage uh, top top college network to convert the road network road data to navigation model data. After we got the navigation data, we could provide uh, put the navigation data to the mobile site. We just copy this data directly with a data source. The relating data source, then we could see the maps navigation data on mobile site directly. Then you don't need to do any conversion. And then for this, after you get this, you put the navigation model in mobile site. Then you could uh, uh, plan your route uh, by selecting your origin and destination. So what's the incremental data navigation value? The first one, uh, we our solution is totally uh, fully independent. So you don't need to rely on other uh, software or hardware. Uh, you just collect your data by use your own phone. And uh, you can save the data production cost. You can even super map whole the just only use the super app products so you can uh, produce uh, navigation data. And uh, there's unlimited data update frequency. So you just can update your data in real time, at any time. Uh, so that, that's all for the indoor map in indoor navigation solution and the incremental data navigation. Then I'll show some cases of our, in our indoor navigation. First one is uh, indoor parking lot. Uh, to find your car, use the uh, uh, indoor navigation application. So uh, as I know, uh, when we park our car in a very big um, parking lot, uh, if you forget your uh, where's your car, it will cost you so much time to find your car. But with this application, you just need to uh, record your uh, your car plate number at the parking location. So when you are back to the parking lot, you just need to type type your um, plot num plate number, car plate number. Then it will show you the route to your car. And for this application, it's also an indoor and outdoor uh, integrated navigation. So while we are outside of the building, we just search, uh, we can search the car plate number. It will show you the route to, the, to your car. So the, you can see now it's just outdoor wayfinding. When we you when you enter the when you enter the buildings, it will switch to indoor wayfinding, indoor navigation automatically. You can see this. It's also a three D, three D thing. Yeah. And it can show the multi floors. You can choose multi floors. So every floor, so you could set the camera parameters, camera location, then you could get a better view of each floor. And this is a 2D and a 3D navigation. Uh, you, first, uh, this is traditional 2D navigation. You show uh, this 
this kind of shows the floor plans. You can switch the floors by clicking the floor number, and then you can uh, select your origin and the destination. It can provide the route, and then you can switch to 3D scene to see the 3D route. And here, this is another case in you know, the navigation uh, application for Beijing West railway station. Because this is a very big railway station, you uh, there are many entrances and exits uh, you can know, and it's uh, you can search your entrance according to your tickets, and it, you also can search the metro uh, metro entrance and the bus station or taxi uh, where we can get a taxi and uh, find the toilets. Here's a very also pra practical application, uh, indoor emergency rescue. Uh, this uh, application scenario is based on, the, it can based on the interpositional technology it helps to uh, rescue uh, it helps people to release the rescue information and carry out the rescue quickly. Um, it also provides the indoor path planning and uh, the most important is provide the one click for uh, help. So when you please the uh, when you press the help button, it will uh, send the alerts to rescue person it will have, and people could find you could know your location so it's and uh, can release the emergency letter letter and this is AR navigation and uh, it's also navig uh, AR navigation you could see the destination by click the uh, labels to plan your route with AR symbols, it also can uh, utilize the AR technology for indoor navigation. You just select your uh, destination and it will show you the route by these signs. It will, and it's very, it's a very straight way to show you the sign, to show you the instructions. And I set a different style for the signs. Although you can attach some information, such some information about the uh, indoor objects. So that's all for the indoor navigation solution. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, any questions, you could leave your Q and A session, and I will ask. I will give you my answer. Thank you.